Okay, in this uh, video tutorial we're going to be using the Democratic and Republican logos as a remix of a political party logo. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go in and let's find another silhouette of an animal here. Let's go to images and just pick an animal that you want to do the same idea and not an elephant or a uh, donkey. But let's uh, use a different animal. Um, I'm going to be using, I'll use a rhino. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to take uh, this silhouette. Let's go to Photoshop first and just make a piece of paper here. I'll just make it, um, just 8 by 11 is fine. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go back to that silhouette and drag it on. Move tool. Command T and let's make it up bigger. Hold down shift so you don't squish and squash the animal. Okay. And then notice how pixelated it is. Well, it's going to clean it up once you hit the check mark. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take your paintbrush with a white foreground. And let's make it, use your bracket keys to make a bigger or smaller brush. Let me go out so big here. Hold down shift and just drag. If you hold down shift, it makes a perfect straight line. Okay, the next thing you want to do is take your magic wand, which is usually hidden underneath the quick selection tool. Go to the magic wand and click on the upper half, and the upper part here is blue with stars. The bottom half is red. So let's go ahead and paint this in blue. So we're going to take our paint bucket, usually hidden under the gradient tool. So if you see gradient tool, just hold down paint bucket, pick a nice blue color, and just click on the upper part. Command D gets rid of the marching ends. Do the same thing with the magic wand. Just click on the bottom part, pick a nice red, and Take your paint bucket and click on it. Command D. It's already looking pretty good. Now let's get some stars. Here's where you get some stars at. Hold down on your, your uh, rectangular marquee tool right here. Hold down on that. Go down to the custom shape tool. And then here's the custom shapes. Now there's tons of shapes. I've got a lot here loaded. You probably don't have as many there. If you don't have them all, let's get them all. So go to your sprocket right here. So first click on next to, next to your, your arrow right here and then sprocket. And let's go down and hit all and hit append and they'll all show up. Okay, so click on append and then let's go find the star. There it is. Okay, let's get that star there. Now we don't want to paint a red star here, we want to paint a white one. So click on this and let's click white and then click and drag and let go. Move tool and you've got a perfect white star. Now, if you want those straight, great. Or if you want to curve them or change them or twist them, command T and you can rotate. Next thing you want to do is hold down command, sorry, option, hold down option and drag. That makes another layer. See, when you made that star, it automatically made a shape. And you can always go back and change the shape anytime you want. Just go back to your shapes here and you can click on the shape you want and you can change it. Okay, but we want to keep it the same. I just made another one, which is fine. But again, it's not twisted, so I'm going to delete that one and go back to this layer and copy. There's lots, of, again, option, we'll click and drag and you can make a new layer. Or you can right click on the layer here, right click over here, and you can make a new layer. What I, another way I like to do it is I'll, I'll pull the layers off here so you can really see them. If you just click on that layer you want to duplicate and just right on that new layer, it makes another one. It's there. Cool. So you can kind of pull it over here and then go to this shape. Go to this one. Neat. So we've made a political new party called the Rhino Party. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess the, the Republicans are not the Elephant Party or the Democrats are not the, the Democrat, uh, the um, Donkey Party, but uh, they use those symbols for some small reason. I kind of know why. It's because one party um, and the other were, it was an artist that that use those two different animals to show one's, one's conservative and really thin, so they use a donkey and they're kind of stubborn. The other one are fat and have lots of money and capitalists, so they're, they're fat like an elephant. And that's why they use those way back when and now it become the actual political party. So there's your remix. Now, here to make it, you got this white space around it. Let's do some cropping just to finish off here. So go to your rectangular marquee tool, click and drag about right here over so you just get a nice little crop and then go to image at the top, 
crop. Command D gets rid of those marching ants, the selection. Uh, go to File, Save As. And I'm going to save this as just, you know, a fun remix uh, politics, if you want. Okay. And put that on your desktop and change it to JPEG. Make sure you get it to JPEG so it's a photo, so it flattens all your layers. Hit OK. Done with that project.